my bunny bitch. Bunny bitch. Yeah. That's how I sound when I hit. Yeah. Hands on the floor. Hands. lost 130 pounds, the biggest change wasn't a physical change. Mentally, I became such a different person. But what made that change was things that I didn't want to do. Waking up at 4 a.m. every day. Eating food I didn't want to eat. Training when I didn't want to train. Every single thing that I did not want to do but did anyways made me who I am today. And throughout this whole change, in the beginning, it sucked. I never wanted to do any of it. But we're a creature of habit, and once we start doing it, it becomes normal. That's just who we become. That's how I lost 50 pounds. So on the left, I'm weighing 221 pounds, and right here, I'm weighing around 171 to 173. I can't remember. So I took a weight loss supplement, as I'm sure a lot of you know by now, but mainly I want to talk about the timeline of how I lost the 50 pounds. So the weight loss happened over like two and a half years, but the main weight loss that I saw was in the first nine months. And that's because after the first bottle, which was three months, I was taking it kind of inconsistently. So after the first bottle, I lost 20 pounds. So as you can see in the first bottle, which is three months, I had already seen a lot of fat loss in my back. So after another six to seven months of taking it on and off, I had gone down to 185 pounds from the 221 pounds. But the amount of fat loss I had seen made it look like I had lost a lot more. And that's that was kind of the thing is that you lose a lot of fat compared to like what you lose on the scale. So that definitely felt like the case for me. I started July 2018 and this was like, April of this year or something. Basically, I'd been taking it on and off since then and have gotten to my lowest at that point. So that is the timeline of my 50 pound weight loss. One last try. I'm giving life one last try. pounds postpartum at the beginning of my weight loss journey was so tough postpartum i was eating really well and exercising but i was really inflamed and i couldn't lose weight when i got my postpartum labs done my tsh came back at an 18 and my thyroid antibodies were through the roof meaning i was in a complete autoimmune flare making it really difficult to lose weight the first thing i did to start supporting my thyroid and hopefully start losing weight was pulling out gluten and dairy and this was one of my favorite recipes at that time super high protein so easy and so satiating now because i've reached my goal weight and my thyroid is back to normal i do incorporate dairy more often but this recipe is still always in the rotation it is possible to reach your protein goals without dairy but you do have to be intentional Planning and finding high protein recipes like this one is a must. Let me know if you try it. So good. With the square and the base, square and the base, this fucking world better prepare to get laced because they're gonna taste my. Fine. I'll do it.
like myself. How to lose weight in four easy steps. Step one, no beer. Every time you drink a beer, it's like eating seven slices of bread. That's a lot of unnecessary carbs. Step two, portion control. When eating out at a restaurant, cut your meal in half and ask for a takeout container to save the rest for later. Step three. Have your heart broken. And not just broken, but shattered by a girl who uh, never loved you and never will. She about to do it, you guys, so she can show y'all how y'all can lose weight like her. Yeah. You back your size and bitch you was when you was 14. No, I was yeah. one day. If you want to become the hottest, healthiest, and happiest version of yourself, you have to change one thing. You have to break the habit of being yourself. You are made up of how you think, how you act, and how you feel. You have become the person that you are by doing the same things over years and years and years. Just like you can teach an old dog new tricks, you can train yourself to become a different person. What does the dream version of yourself look like? What do they do every morning? How do they talk to themselves? How do they treat other people? What do they physically look like? What is one thing you can do today to start becoming more like that person? One thing. You're not going to become that person overnight. Remind yourself that growth is slow. It's like a caterpillar turning into a butterfly. That didn't happen in one day. Change one thing until it becomes habit. And once that becomes a habit, you change another thing. Those small changes will accumulate over time until one day you're gonna look in the mirror and realize that you have become the person you've always wanted to be. I challenge you to change one thing about your day tomorrow. Wake up 30 minutes earlier, go to the gym, eat something that's a little bit healthier. Change one thing. You will not change if nothing changes. Make sense? This is day two of trying to lose 35 pounds of water weight in one single day. So my starting weight was 213 pounds at the weigh-in. I woke up this morning on day two, as you can see, I lost 11 pounds of water weight. On Calvin's day one weigh-in, he started off at 202 pounds. This is the next day result of no food and no water. And his results, he lost 10.6 pounds total. This challenge is very difficult. Get your bag up, get that gym and get back high Go get that degree, go girl, focus